addendum to last video. <laughs> this is the stallion, as you can tell by his display. Starting to happen, and all those battle scars. Some idiot pulled up next to me and did stupid things to the buckskin. Got too close, and, and uh, oh, he came over pretty quick. <laughs> So, I, you know, this is what I mean when you're that close. You endanger the horses and yourself if you're too stupid to read horse body language and you treat them like they're pets or cartoons, you know? Jeez, because if something would have happened, there would have been a report and there would have been now complaints again, you know, enhancing the complaints about the wild horses calling for their removal, their sale for slaughter, which follows after that. And as usual, when it comes to encounters between wild animals and idiot people, the wild animals always, always lose. And I loathe you people who do these kinds of things because these horses have a right to be here just as much as we do. And they're not here to perform for you or, you know, <laughs> pose for pictures for you. You just have to take them as they are. There are other creatures that share the earth with us. And they're not uh, things over which we have domination in the medieval kind of sense. Or the old world kind of sense. And people use that argument a lot. Oh, God gave us dominion over all living creatures. Yeah, well, okay. If you believe in a God that said that, maybe the dominion that you are granted is the same kind of dominion that God has over you. To be a loving caretaker. Not some someone who just uses and takes and disposes of and dispenses with at a whim. I guess it depends on the kind of God you believe in. If you believe in a God at all. Anyway, this incident ended all right. The people, stupid people, went away. And um, no horse was injured, thankfully. Of course, I always worry when they try and cross the, war, the roads because it, it's amazing to me. Oh, well, here's a nice little thing you don't always see. <laughs> How'd you like to be a female and to be able to urinate standing up and clear everything you need to clear? <laughs> you know? Amazing. <laughs> that would be a treat. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I have to get to work now. But this, this uh, could have been a really, really different video than I'm shooting right here. After what some stupid, selfish person did. Okay. Alright, well, life in Dayton. If you want to live here, get used to all your neighbors. Try and accommodate them when you can. Don't harass them unnecessarily, I guess. If they're being provocative, you got to protect yourself, of course. But you know, ugh, encounters between wild animals and stupid humans. Wild animals always pay. Always. Don't be one of those. <laughs>